Russell Wilson traded Denver, and here are the full details on what they got. Denver receives QB Russell Wilson in a fourth-round pick, and the Seattle receives QB Drew Locke, tight end Noah Fant, defensive lineman Shelby Harris, two first-round picks, two second-round picks, and a fifth-round pick. Honestly, Denver might have won this trade. I feel like a lot of people were saying that Denver won this trade. I definitely do agree. Russ Wilson is probably one of the best quarterbacks they had since Peyton Manning. They've had 11 starting quarterbacks since Peyton Manning. Some of them included Drew Locke and Brock Osweiler. But hopefully with the two first-round picks, I think one of them's like somewhere around 15. The Seahawks either draft Kenny Pickett or Malik Willis. Those are probably the best options they can get. And I think hopefully they can become some sort of good for the Seahawks and really help them. But the Denver Broncos definitely won this trade because the quarterback... Hopefully, Drew Locke is in the starting quarterback for the Seahawks next season. And besides that, comment down below your opinion. Who won this trade in your opinion? Now places the Broncos as a Super Bowl contender. Dan Orlovsky on Russ Wilson being traded the Broncos. I definitely do agree. Their defense has been good. They drafted Patrick Sertan. Honestly, a very good quarterback. They have Javante Williams at running back and Melvin Gordon, too. And at the receiver position, Jerry Judy. And honestly, their offense has been pretty okay. And their offensive line has been good as well. And I feel the only thing missing was really quarterback. They went up against the Chiefs and very well could have won that game. I feel like if Ross Wilson was a quarterback, they probably would have. And in general, they definitely aren't going to be Super Bowl contenders with him on their team. Broncos offensive weapons. Russell Wilson, Javante Williams, Corton Sutton, Jerry Duty, and Tim Patrick. Honestly, a good lineup adding Russell Wilson. In my opinion, I think they're definitely going to be a lot better team than they were last year. Obviously, adding Russell Wilson. Probably a top 10 quarterback. They've never had one in a while since Peyton Manning. Jerry Judy, I think, will make a leap this year. Javante Williams will make a leap. Gordon Sutton will make a leap as well. And Tim Patrick. I overall think the Broncos will definitely improve. They fired the head coach. That could be a step in the right direction. Could have been coaching as well, as long as with Drew Locke, too. Comment down below your opinion on this, though. AFC West quarterbacks, they're honestly stacked in the AFC. So they have Derek Carr. That's probably... He's at four. Then number three, you probably have Justin Herbert. Number two... You have Russell Wilson, and then number one, you have Patrick Mahomes. This is honestly a stacked division, in my opinion, and that's my ranking for each quarterback. Comment down below your opinion on this, though, but who do you guys think is going to be the top quarterback next year? I would say either Russell Wilson or Patrick Mahomes, and I think they're going to be battling for the top spot. Bobby Wagner was released from the Seahawks yesterday after the Russell Wilson news, which, in my opinion, I don't know if they should release him. He only had one year on his contract he left. I feel like they should have kept him. Will he go to the Broncos? Where will he really go? But hopefully the Seahawks have a big move, plan on defense and offense coming up right now. 